Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rayman Revolutions. I'm Victor Jekyll. And we're gonna go back into the game. So I was running around a bit so and it seems that you actually have to kill all of the pirates, or at least a fair amount of them. Because I couldn't really proceed. So. It's actually weird that they would say the skull cave is this way and then you have to go the other way to get to it. Rayman, follow me and I'll open a path to the next mask for you. But watch out! I've heard the pirates are prepared. So we already did this. However, well, something about uh, what you can and what you can't save. So this is, isn't actually progress. So I don't know yet what is the best strategy to to dodge bullets or anything like that. But we're doing good so far. And it seems that the green pirates are going down in one hit, so... Once the red are all gone... It shouldn't be too... Too much trouble. Or should it? Well, we're doing better than before. And then there's purple, which also take only one hit. I should better get some uh, some golden fists. So this wasn't actually in the in the original game. And this goes to show that there's a lot more pirates in this version of the game than in the original version of the game. And at this point I am not really even worrying about dodging the bullets, but I'm just going from left to right, basically. Uh, which seems to work. Um, now there are yellow pirates which take like two hits each and then there's red again so I'm really confused about why why are there so many and 
Well, I can't really dodge all of the bullets, so... Why doesn't it stop somewhere? Like, this is really a bit too much for me. So let's see if we can be a really uh, a bit more careful. So we can refill our health somehow. So we're back to almost all red pirates. Well, I don't really know what to say at this point for commentary. Because what can you say? There's a lot of pirates and there's nothing really going on on the screen other than what has been going on for quite some time. But we're doing better on health, which is kind of a surprise. I haven't been hit in a while. So it looks like they're not adding more pirates in the back. So we're, there's like 12 pirates left now. And I lost the health again. But that's okay. I'm getting there. Slowly. So, this... I can see why they put this here, but... It sort of is a minigame, but... For a minigame, it's just... Just a lot more of the same and the same and the same and the same. So it's a bit too long to be a mini game, really. And well, I don't really enjoy doing this because it's. It's not really a challenge if you know what to do. And if you know what to do, then it still takes some, quite some time to do it. Which can be frustrating. Because it's kind of pointless to make something that takes such a long time just uh, to add it to a game that's already great but so we get nothing from that no special powers guess not. So over here we can go to the skull cave. But we just came from there. So this is like uh, Another cave. 
what's it called? Wishing well or Well I don't really want to buy anything because I want to save all the lungs. And why would you go into like the fun section? Is it like saying, well this game is no fun. Let's add a fun section to it because it doesn't have any fun yet. Well, I think I just found a lamb. So we got one out of 30. Find the king of the teensies by the stone circle. You can read the arrow signs when you get close. Well, there isn't really an arrow sign over here, is there? There's just a bridge and stone circle so I'm gonna go here anyway despite of there being no arrow keys. Good! You're getting closer to the third mask. I'll explain how to find it. First, go inside the factory by deactivating both its generators. Then you must find the entrance to the lava sanctuary. The mask there's a moon which will take you to the Where? No. So we're looking for a balloon. And we can go either over here, I guess. But this does seem like a door that Clark should open for us. However. We can go over here, which is pointed to the hot air balloon. So these things take like two hits, six hits for one fire. I can just keep shooting, so every time he shoots a missile, I can uh, explode it. Well, more pirates. How convenient. Just die. Why does it shoot me, even when I'm... I was doing the same thing before and I didn't get hit. So you have to do it again. Do we have to go talk to the team Z also? No we don't. Well, that's kind of stupid. So I like that they added like certain things to this game, but some things are just not really not really an addition to the game, I think. Maybe I should stand a bit more far away from the other pirates. Why would they put a llama over there? See, when I'm just firing like this, I am not getting hit. Get it then. A 
there's no point in leaving yet. Can't go over there. So I guess this is the way to go now. And I don't know if this is like... So I wasn't sure if the hot air balloon is like a new type of uh, game mode, but I guess not, we're just supposed to, well that's not nice. We're just have to uh, walk the... Uh, the unstable planks here. Well. Maybe I'm used to better aiming. Well, I don't think this is like a, a hard level. But it can be if you play it the first time. And you don't know much of the controls. So I can't grab onto that. I guess you can shoot the pirate if you want to. You should chop her over there. And it might be a little shaky, but the parts are, or the planks are gonna hang on. Usually just long enough for you to run on them. So, if you just keep walking, nothing could happen. Let's just get the cage. So we don't have to get it later. Uh, this might also be a level that you can... You can kind of get all of the lumps stick in one playthrough, I guess. But I don't know how you're supposed to get that. Let's see if we can get it later. Or right now. Because maybe you can. If it's putting you back far enough. Which I think it does. So now we can walk up here. Well, that's weird. I couldn't before. So another word for a barrel is a vessel. So they already shoot some blanks before I even walked on them. And you're supposed to jump right, right at the health uh, lumps or the red lumps, which is nice. 
and 60. There's not, lot, not a lot of those lums on this uh, part of the level. Because I only have 18. go all the way down using your chopper and the lumps are kind of tell you where to go but if you do this level for a second time obviously they're not gonna be there so that's where it gets a little bit more hard but then you're just gonna have to Use your chopper all the way and I hope I can still get them, yes I can. So you're just gonna have to follow the wall if you already got the lungs. Or you can leave a couple in if you want. But it's not really that hard to find your way. And if you do die, you can always you can always just use a, use a restart or a retry. So there's a lot of pirates again. And this time they're chasing after me, which isn't really great. So I think those are almost dead, or maybe not. And just stop dodging my bullets. And the door opened, but there's something over here. I think so. There's a couple of lungs. So, and let's see what is over here. That's just the ship. And you can't get to the ship. Help. So, there's a door over here with some bandage on it and isn't Murphy gonna explain how this is gonna work because I thought he would do that because we haven't really We haven't done this any day, any time. I think you can throw like one of these in the air there, but I could be wrong. 
because it looks like it and you can but nothing is happening so I guess it's just it's really weird that they wouldn't explain how this how this works because I couldn't do this before at at the Menhir Hills I believe it was so now it's gonna say how this works I don't see the sign I don't see the Murphy sign where he's supposed to say something to you that's really weird at least we've got a safe point right here I just need to get the lungs out of the way so some of the levels are really seems like they didn't do anything with them which I can understand but Like some of the levels they only added a couple of pirates and that's it. Or a couple of different pirates. And there used to be a really nice secret over here but now it's just a couple of lumps. Also disappointing. Now there's a switch over here that we have to trigger. And the pirate cannot stand water. It doesn't really matter what kind of water. So you have to let go early in order to not get hit, but I jumped in the water anyway. And if you jump early on that jump, it is like obviously you jumped early and then you have the chance of getting into the goop. Or the poisonous water. So you have to use your chopper to get out. So here's only one pirate, it seems. Secret over here or and sometimes it can be difficult to get on this rope. But I already got all of the cages in this level, which is good. And you have to set the switch before you can go through this cage. However, it is timed, so once you open it, you have to run. Not like this, but a little more quick. However, this seems plenty fast enough. So now it's up to you to not fry not fly too high and not too low. And there you go. So this board is not gonna drop. So there's a secret over here. I need only one lump. What should I do? Should I get it? So I can still go over here. So that's nice. 
but what's the purpose of the secret? So where do I have to go? Over here or over here? I think the exit was over there. So I'm just gonna go over here. And see what this is about. I've never seen this before. There's nothing to do. There's literally nothing to do here. So let's see, what is... No camera. So what happens if you jump in there? Well, I shouldn't have gone in there again. So what is this all about, really? You can't go here. You can't. I guess if you jump in, you die. And you die if you touch that thing. Well, we can't really leave without the team, see? So. I think I have an idea. So if I go over here again, which I can't, maybe I can if I make a better jump, then maybe I can fly to the chamber with the, with the barrel. Doesn't seem to be anything over there. But it would be kind of weird. Because why would it... Why would they put a safe point over here? If you can't even go back. And you have to go back. In order to do it. I don't mind, but so I don't really know what to do, but it doesn't seem like you need a barrel. At least I killed a pirate with this barrel, which was intentionally. And you can't really fly too far off with the barrels. Because if you do, they just gonna explode after a set amount of time. So you have to really jump off and grab another barrel or a fezzle. Fezzle. Because they're gonna smoke and it's gonna explode and you're gonna die. I still think it's weird that I couldn't couldn't use this flying technique before. 
but I can use it now even though nobody explained it to me which could explain all the dying that's going on so the ending of this level it is not like I'm used to so I'm at first I'm confused about what they what they had in mind that I would have to think about that I'm gonna do to free this teensy because it also didn't really look like see the barrel was beginning to smoke a bit so if I use this barrel and I go in the right direction yeah not this direction because I'm gonna s go straight into the wall I would say it is kind of dangerous to do Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to use the barrel to get in here. Because it's a cutscene that gets you here. And... I don't see anything to... Any... In item to interact with at this point unless we have to take glow box with us which would be weird because I don't think glow box is going to be able to fly with a barrel Well, I'm kind of confused about what to do, but I'm going to end this episode right here, and I thank you for watching. Goodbye.